Hi, my name is Mike Lapitan with Wonderware NorCal. Thanks for joining us for our video introduction to Historian Client Trend. So this is going to be a brief demo on the Historian Client Trend. The Wonderware Historian is where the trend client gets the data, and the Historian is a centralized report repository for collecting and storing all your real-time data from your control system and your PLCs. So it really acts as a flight recorder for collecting and storing what happened in your process so that you can quickly retrieve that data, analyze it, and optimize your process to reduce costs. So we also have the ability to access all of that historical information right inside of Excel, so you can do Excel-based reporting very easily. And we can replicate the data to a historian on your business network, so you can have secure access to your plant data from anywhere. Historian Client Trend is a great data analysis and troubleshooting tool. It's very valuable to really understand your process, gain insights, quickly troubleshoot issues and alarms, as well as maintain regulatory compliance and product quality by monitoring your process in real time. So let's do a quick demo on storing client trend. We're going to be using InTouch as our data source today. So we have our reactor demo here and we have reactor level and temperature and our product storage level. So we're going to use trend now to look at that data in a historical context. So this is the historian client trend. And you can see I've got my, his, my tag list over on the left-hand side here. So I can quickly browse my tags and I can double click on any of them to add them. So I've added my React level tag now. And I can see I'm right now looking at a 10 minute window. If I wanted to look at a five minute window, I can easily pick from the drop-down box or type in any start date and time that I want. I can go back in history now and play it back as if it were live. I can click the left, uh, pan to the left button here if I want to go back five minutes or go back to the current time. I can click enable the current time and that'll jump me back to the current time. Notice the original scale for this tag is zero to 3000. I can click the auto scale all tags button. And that's going to zoom in on the data so it makes it much more easier to, to see the data. The data fits in the chart so you can see it change the scale to negative 200 to 2100. I've got these value axis cursors here. I've got a red one and a blue one here. And I can drag these around and I can see the time where the cursor is up here in the top left. And I can see the value down here at the bottom right where it says value at X1. So I can see the value of the where the, the cursor is for that tag. So same thing with the blue. I've got value at X2. Shows me, shows me the time where the blue cursor is and the value of that tag at that time. I can drag this all the way to the far right since I'm in current time mode. I can actually see the live data coming in from the control system from the PLC. I can add notes to these trends. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the trend and mouse over my trend here. I can see the tag name, the value, the timestamp, the quality. I can click right click and click add annotation. I can say that I was doing a, a sensor calibration at this point in time, and if I make it a private note, only people in my group can see it. If I make it a public group, that means everybody can see it. Now that becomes a permanent record now here in the historian, and so I can see that I've got a note, and that reminds me, uh, if I want to look at this data in the future, it reminds me what was going on if I had an anomaly. I can right-click inside of my trend and see the data log, so I can see the data that makes up the trend. So this is very useful just to see the data. And I can look at the data between the cursors, the red and the blue cursor, or between the graph start time and end time. I can save this data set as well if I wanted to open that up in a CSV file. I can add a second tag here, and what I'll do is just double click on React Temp over here. And now I've got both React Level and React Temp, and I can see right now the data is stacked. The two tags are stacked. They've got different value axis is here on the left hand side or I can click the stack the tag traces button and that will put put them in overlaid so now they're actually sharing the same value axis and if I like it in uh, right here where they're overlaid I'll go ahead and save this so next time I open up trend I can quickly just open up this trend file here and I'll call this um, my um, saved trend and I'll go ahead and now delete these tags just by clicking on them in the tag list and clicking delete. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to create a private uh, group folder here, and I'm going to call this my uh, reactor folder. And what I can do now is I'm going to use the filter, the tag filter on the bottom left here to go browse for a tag. So I'm going to, I know my tag name starts with conch, C-O-N-C. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, there's my conch pump tag, and I'm going to drag that to my reactor folder. And I'm going to do the same thing for product level. I'm going to go ahead and type in prod and click apply, and that's going to bring up my product level tag and I'll go ahead and add that to my reactor folder. 
Okay, so if I clear my filter and I go to my reactor folder, I can see that I've got conk pump and product level here. And I can just drag that whole folder over to my trend and I can see that I've got um, to my two tags that were in that folder, now I'm, I'm trending. So this is monitoring a discrete tag against an analog tag, so I can see if I monitor pressure against a valve opening and closing, for example. Now I'm gonna go ahead and access this trend data right inside of InTouch. And so I've got my InTouch uh, operator user interface, but I can embed historian client trend right inside of InTouch. I can go browse for that file, remember that saved trend that I created, I can open that up. There's my saved trend, there's my note that I, I added. If I want, I can also just open up my folder I created for my reactor folder. There's the folder I created in Trend. Now it shows up inside of InTouch, and I can add that. And then I can also just click on a button that I created here called Add Tags, and that's gonna automatically add my React Level and React Temp, and it's also gonna hide my tag picker on the left-hand side. So you can completely control this Trend client to make it as user-friendly as possible for the operator to access their information and save their work and access it very quickly. So that's all I wanted to show you today for our introduction to Historian Client Trend. Thank you for taking the time, and if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Again, my name is Mike Lapitan at Wonderware NorCal, and thank you for your business. We look forward to working with you.